what are micro-credentials? Well, the answer to that question is actually quite complex. So what I'm gonna to try to do in the next few minutes is give you a relatively simple explanation of the different layers or dimensions to micro-credentials. But I do need to emphasize that it's more complex than I'm trying to describe here. But the one message I want to leave with you is that micro-credentials are certainly not just the issuing of digital badges that have become quite common in recent times and certainly not issuing of what is sometimes referred to as warm body badges, badges you get just for attending an event, just maybe for participating in something. So um, it's fair to say that actually, if you're struggling with what micro-credentials really mean, so do some of the experts in the field, some of those who specialize in the field. What you're seeing here in front of you is a survey of people attending an event on micro-credentials who read the literature and familiar with the field. Um, and in asking them to respond to different proposed definitions, you can see that there was no real consensus. So you're not alone at this stage if you're still trying to work out what we mean by a micro-credential. So to help you, I'm going to describe three different dimensions of micro-credentials. Um, they're not as straightforward as I'm going to present them, but hopefully at this point it helps you just to get your head around the different ways in which micro-credentials can be understood. So think of it like this. Um, firstly, this is probably the easiest dimension. If you think of a graph where you have the y-axis or as the metaphor of building bricks here, the Lego bricks indicates, these are small learning experiences that stack on each other, that you can build together in a vertical sense um, as part of your lifelong learning. They can be formal or non-formal learning experiences. The critical part is that for micro-credentials, they tend to be ones that not only stack, but they also are credit bearing. So they build on each other towards something that's bigger. So the micro, if you like, can even add towards the macro credential. So that's what I call dimension one. Dimension two, um, as the image here tries to represent is a little bit more on the X axis, if you think, um, almost like a honeycomb where it's learning through your own interest, not necessarily at all linked to work-related learning, where you fill the empty honeycombs with knowledge, um, experiences, and skills according to your interest. But these are done not in any particular order. They're not necessarily connected. They can be quite different. And in that sense, they're more akin to life-wide learning um, on that horizontal axis. They tend to be more informal or non-formal learning experiences. So that's the second dimension of micro-credential. But it gets a little more confusing. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible because as the bricks here or the stepping stones indicate, actually the Y and the X axis can be sort of linked together because in a diagonal sense, because there are occasions where those informal learning experiences, those things you fill in the honeycomb, if you like, in informal or non-formal learning, might be able to com be combined into a learning portfolio or a professional portfolio of some kind. And even those badges that I mentioned previously, those experiences might be combined in your portfolios alongside critical reflection, perhaps linked to professional standards for the field that you work within, such that that portfolio could be assessed to lead to a micro-credential that is credit bearing. So the diagonal connects back, if you like, to the vertical in that sense. So that's one way of looking at three different dimensions. Um, another way that we've tried to map, if you like, the new credential ecology. Again, quite simplistically, but just with the intent to try to make this a little bit more understandable initially at least. So we are fairly familiar right now with what we all describe as our degrees that we can see as macro credentials, whether they be undergraduate or postgraduate, they're credit bearing, they're bundled together because the institution, the university decides what it is that the learner will study. 
In contrast, what we now have is many more unbundled opportunities. And it's particularly that top right quadrant that um, is of interest to us, where micro-credentials are about unbundling shorter learning experiences, perhaps introducing the term semi-formal semi alongside formal. Importantly, they are credit-bearing and stackable. And they are very different, if you like, from just simply badges and awards that you might get for other reasons. <laughs> However, there is a lot of leakage across these four quadrants. And that's what makes the definition of micro-credentials and a common definition quite challenging. So hopefully that was useful for you. And um, we look forward to hearing more from your experiences and thinking about micro-credentials as the course continues. Thank you.